minimums. One hundred. Hey guys, Shane here, Ozflight Simmer. Welcome to another video. This is the first video of a new series called Full Flights. These videos are going to be made in a more of a raw uh, footage fashion than my other videos. So don't get me wrong, I'm still going to be doing other videos like my test drive videos each week. So you still get those. But I wanted to come up with a way that I could do more video production, spend some more time with you guys and do a midweek video. And I've come up with uh, this concept of full flight. So uh, we're going to be doing uh, user requests as well. So we'll do different videos of different uh, simulators aircraft routes you can leave a request in the description um, and I'll pick out something that interests me and we'll try to uh, act this out sometimes I'll substitute these videos for uh, live streams um, and we'll include those as well so yeah pretty exciting um, wanted a way to do some more videos for you guys um, so I'm thinking this would be a good format Yes, um, we'll still do the other videos, uh, or what I call my more premium videos. Um, they will still be happening each week, so looking forward to it. So in today's uh, flight, we are in the Delta 757-200 from uh, Flight Factor. We are in X-Plane today. Uh, we're taking off at Tampa International on a actual a real Delta uh, flight. I think it's 2810. Uh, from memory and uh, we're flying to Atlanta and bear in mind this is the uh, first full flight video so I made a quite a lot of mistakes um, sometimes I'm actually gonna even call, record these live as well um, using live voice and things but um, this is the first video anyway so uh, we've been saying that let's jump into the cockpit so we're pretty much in a cold and dark state. Uh, the only thing I, I really done was um, activate the, the jar design ground handling and get some vehicles there and turn the batteries on. But um, we're gonna connect um, our ground power and get some life into the aircraft. We'll align our IRSs. So this is something you normally don't see when I'm doing different videos, I sort of cut all this sort of stuff out. But for these full flight videos, we're just gonna have a bit of a chat um, while I prepare the aircraft and I'll do it as quick as I can. Um, I actually did a few mistakes with the flows on this one because I was trying to think how this was all gonna pan out for the first video. And I was getting used to um, the tablet here in the flight factor um, as well as the ground handling because it changes some things um, the GPU you can't request that in the tablet anymore and um, you've got to do it on the jar zone app so it sort of works slightly different so uh, we've got to open up the doors um, using the tablet so we can load the aircraft so we're using 16,000 pounds today check our maintenance that is the one thing you must do if you use this aircraft. Check your maintenance on the ground before you start your engines because I've done many flights and something is broken because I didn't uh, I'll look after it. So the IRSs are aligned. So we're going to start programming the FMC. I do apologize for some of the sound levels uh, on the flight as well. I did an update for the uh, Flight Factor 757-200. Um, for the beta so I can um, play around with the v stuff they're doing with VR which is really cool I did a VR flight in this um, the other day which was absolutely insane so it sort of reset um, some of my sound settings to default which I didn't realize till I was uh, doing um, the flight so we're going starting from KTPA and going to KATL and um, if you haven't flown the Flight Factor 757-200, it's an aircraft, um, you know, if you don't fly heavies and you want to learn how to fly a heavy, it's probably a good one um, to learn off because it's quite easy to pick up. Like the FMC, I nickname it and call it the baby FMC because it's really easy. And um, on today's video, I'm going to do a lazy way of um, programming. You can pretty much put your flight in and all your details within... Um, two minutes pretty much so I think we're going to take the Eden 07 uh, departure today and I'm going to um, which I pretty much do all the time is I'm just going to pick 
uh, runway for the arrival and I'm going to look at the weather as we get closer and I'll organize which uh, runway which I think it's going to be like one left or something to that effect anyway so uh, I'm going to program uh, my legs the lazy way and use the legs page so if I've pretty much only got three wave points I'm going to put in for the flight here um, so it shouldn't take long but uh, feel free with these flights to leave comments um, and tips below. If you see something that I'm doing incorrectly, I would uh, love to know. Uh, doesn't mean I'll, I'll take uh, your opinions on. I still might like to uh, do lazy flights and programs and do things differently. But um, one of the things I've learnt most from is comments um, in the videos from you guys of telling me how to do things the right way. So... Um, which is uh, really cool. So we've pretty much got uh, that all programmed in. So we want to move on to um, reference pages. Uh, reserves are going to be lazy and just say it's a one. I think we're going to cruise at 32,000 feet. Um, I still use Active Sky when I'm flying X plane um, to do the flight briefing and get my weather. Um, so that says 32,000 feet for the flight here. And I've got my V refs in there, and obviously it puts in the last one for me. And that's pretty much done and dusted with the FMC. So um, I took a little bit longer on that one, but you can pretty much program it straight away. So we're going to turn the flight directors on on the left and the right pages. Uh, put the uh, VORs to auto. We'll put the VNAV on and the nav on we'll put the screens on so we can see what the engines are doing and we're going to get ready um, to pull out in a minute so just get our uh, lights uh, sorted traditionally i like to pretty much get the aircraft uh, all ready to go with my fmc and stuff just um, before i even put the apu on so um, we're going to get the altitude set for this one. Need to do this three times. We'll fire up the APU. And we'll go to the co pilot. Sometimes I'm really super lazy and I don't even do um, the co pilot, but I'm sure you guys have been out there and you've done something similar as well. And uh, we will start the uh, APU turn some fuel pumps on everybody's got their own opinion on, on do you turn the left one on do you turn the aft one on do you turn the forward one on um, leave your opinions below and um, be interesting to see so let's get the um, the heaters ready to go turn the your dampeners on so as you can see I'm all over my flows today just Darting around from left and right like a headless chicken on steroids. And one thing is APUs in the cockpit is very hard to hear um, in the Flight Factor 757-200. Uh, but I assume they do everything accurate so that's probably what it is in real life. But the APU is um, fired up. So we're just going to turn that on. We get a flutter of lights. Turn the fans on, APU isolation, and everything else. We turn the hydros on, some electrics on, aircraft coming into life. We'll turn the window heats on. Did did it, did it, did it, did it, and I should turn the seatbelt signs on then, but I didn't. That's okay. We'll do it a little bit later. So we need to start closing everything up so we can um, get ready to go. So here I'm deciding what I need to do um, with the jar designs. So I'm going to close the doors. Turn that off and we'll get rid of some of this stuff. We'll keep the APU. Oh no. Just hide it all. Just get rid of it. Ladies and gentlemen, well, welcome everybody the to the flights. Would like get, to you know, the guys out the back to do some work today. Get rid of the external done so, power. Please stow your carry-on luggage underneath the seat in front of you or in an overhead bin. 
The flight crew will do everything possible to make your flight comfortable and enjoyable. Xplane.org. Step to sky and flight factor. Wish you a pleasant flight experience. I love how the uh, cover announcement gives all the sponsors a bit of a plug for the flights. Kind of cute. Um, but anyways, we're going to get uh, push better pushback. Right go. Plan um, acknowledged. Call me through last the menu when I you did. are ready. It um, had that um, fault where it goes nuts and starts turning the plane around. Um, and you've got to basically ground the cockpit. Push Toe so is driving up. Everything's going to work. Um, today, I'm just going to wait for the cart to appear to push us back. We're just going to appear for the building. Uh, this scenery, um, I'll leave a link in the description below, but it's freeware. Um, I've got to go back and give um, the the guys that did the scenery a bit of a donation because um, it is a great scenery from uh, Tampa International so I wanted to check it out first uh, but I'm going to go back and give you guys a donation so I'll leave a link below you can see um, what um, we are using but we're pretty much um, ready to go for a pushback and uh, we'll start our Okay, engines. all doors and hatches are closed, ready to connect so connected and bypass pin inserted. Release parking brake. Starting so pushback. We are ready and to go. I'm going to come back to you once the PA uh, cabin has done the announcements. Um, so we'll go through the startup as a Ladies well. and gentlemen, we request your full attention as the flight attendants demonstrate the safety features of this aircraft. When the seat belt sign illuminates, you must fasten your seatbelt, insert the metal fittings one into the other, and tighten by pulling on the loose end of the strap. To release your seatbelt, lift the upper portion of the buckle. We suggest that you keep your seatbelt fastened throughout the flight, as we may experience turbulence. The Boeing 757-200 airliner has 10 emergency exits, 4 forward, 2 aft, and 2 over each wing. Please take a few moments now. To locate your nearest exit. In some cases, your nearest exit may be behind you. If we need to evacuate the aircraft, floor level lighting will guide you towards the exit. Doors can be opened by moving the handle in the direction of the arrow. Each door is equipped with an inflatable slide, which may also be detached and used as a life raft. Oxygen and the air pressure are always being monitored. In the event of a decompression, an oxygen mask will automatically appear in front of you. To start the flow of oxygen, pull the mask towards you. Place it firmly over your nose and mouth. Secure the elastic band behind your head and breathe normally. Although the bag does not inflate, oxygen is flowing to the mask. If you are traveling with a child or someone who requires assistance, secure your mask on first and then assist the other person. Keep your mask on until a uniform crew member advises you to remove it. In the event of an emergency, please assume the bracing position. Lean forward with your hands on top of your head and your elbows against your thighs. Ensure your feet are flat on the floor. A life vest is located in a pouch under your seat or between the armrests. When instructed to do so, open the plastic pouch and remove the vest. Slip it over your head, pass the straps around your waist, and adjust at the front. To inflate the vest, pull firmly on the red cord, only when leaving the aircraft. If you need to refill the vest, Operation the mouth complete. Set parking brake. use the whistle and light to attract attention. Also, your seat bottom cushion can be used as a flotation device. Disconnecting toe, stand pull the by. cushion from the seat, slip your arms into the straps, and hug the cushion to your chest. The following electronic devices, calculators, CD players, laptop computers, may be used when the seat belt sign is off, or when permitted by the crew. Mobile telephones, remote controlled toys, or any electronic devices operating with an antenna, must be turned off at all times. We remind you, that this is a non-smoking flight. Tampering with, disabling or destroying the smoke detectors located in the lavatories is prohibited by law. You will find this and all the other safety information in the card located in the seat pocket in front of you. 
we strongly suggest you read it before takeoff. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask one of our crew members. We wish you all an enjoyable flight. Thank you. SO is disconnected and bypass pin has been removed. Hand signal will be on the left. We'll see you next time. Have a safe flight. So as you can see, I made some very big uh, milestone <laughs> mistakes with the start off. I got put off by um, pushback, um, pushing me way back too far from what I actually planned. But um, yeah, so on the second engine start, I didn't even have the uh, fuel pumps on. And the first engine start, I had both packs on. So um, we did hot starts on both engines. So that's always good. Um, I don't have any valve um, signs on, so that's a good sign. But anyways, we've got a good engine start for now. I'll um, have to turn the uh, right pack on now. And um, we're pretty much uh, ready for takeoff. So we're going to turn off um, APUs. We'll get the lights ready to go, put the nose light down, and uh, we're pretty good for a uh, taxi. And um, thanks, better pushback for pushing me back through the FedEx there. That was um, in enjoyable as well. We are rocking and ready to go. I just need to move around um, the FedEx here as um, I've already been through it once, don't need to do it again. And it's pretty long uh, taxi all the way down to the runway. I'm not sure if I include it all for you guys and might edit some of it out as this will be a mega long video but please leave um, some comments below if you want me to include the whole taxis for, for these uh, videos. Got all the uh, deltas all lined up ready to go. Just jump back in the cockpit because I can't keep it uh, straight as we um, keep uh, taxiing down. Um, one thing I do like um, flying both simulators is having the, the best of both worlds. So obviously the X-Plane lighting is awesome. So pretty much now on when I fly flights at morning, dusk or, or night, I'm pretty much going to fly, or what I have been flying is X-Plane. Um, it just looks so much better and um, it runs a lot smoother at night than what I'm finding with uh, P3D but generally I don't make videos of uh, flights at night um, because you guys can't really see anything so uh, when I'm doing different videos I'll make sure I can see the ground so unfortunately don't have any ortho um, really for the airport um, that we're departing today and also landing um, I'm still working on um, installing a new hard drive um, that I will use to uh, link up and um, put some uh, ortho on so pretty much done ortho in Australia and, and nowhere else so looking forward to spending some time doing uh, that but we're nearly coming up to our end of our taxi and then we'll get prepped. Uh, we won't hold long. I'm not actually doing this flight on VATSIM or online, but I will do in the future. So you guys can hear some ATC, but I just thought for the first flight of the um, full flight videos, I'll, I'll just do a quick flight um, offline. A 
love the sounds of the engines in the 757. I'm actually using the uh, Rolls-Royce engine configuration with the wingtips um, for the flight here, but we're getting close to. We'll hit the handbrake and um, get configured. So it shouldn't take very long at all. So we'll turn the TCAS on. Do the lights, turn strobes on, nose off. And for some reason, don't know why I'm turning the uh, runway turn off lights on, but you know, we'll, we'll just we'll run with it anyway. Turn the auto. Throttle on, we turn the uh, auto brake to RTO when we're pretty much ready to go. Release the brakes, we pull out, um, we're pretty much going to roll out and um, get going for the flight. We get Toga. Always, um, I get confused between prepared and X plane because I got Toga. For me, is Control Shift T for X plane, but um, I've got Control Shift G um, for prepared. So, but anyways, I'm going to be quiet now. Please enjoy the takeoff. We'll come back to. I'll come back to as um, pretty much wheels are going up. So wheels up, just um, resetting the VNAV, we'll turn the autopilot on, um, we'll put the flaps up shortly, I've just noticed that um, my flight plan's got vectors in it, so we're going to fix that shortly and then just double check to make sure I haven't missed anything else out um, in the flight plan, but loving the, the sun coming up and the textures there. So we've got vectors there, so just going to have a look. Um, can't really see any other issue, but uh, I'll just double check anyway. looking good to go so we're just going to um, put our altitude up to our cruise level um, for the flight and then we'll do a bit of a cabin announcement for our climb so make sure we calm the nerves of the passengers considering we are, um, have a VS speed of just under 4000 like a rocket going to cruise at 32,000 feet. Active Sky says that is our best um, for the flight. We'll turn the PA on. Ladies and gentlemen, our aircraft continues to climb. We would like to remind you that all flights of our airline are non-smoking. For 
your safety. The lavatory is now being equipped with smoke detectors. Damaging or disconnecting the smoke detectors is strictly prohibited. On the overhead panel you will find a personal lamp, air conditioner, and a flight attendant button. The lavatory for the business class passengers are located in the front of the airplane, and for the economy class passengers, in the back and center of the airplane. For your safety, when seated, we recommend to keep your seat belts fastened, even when the fastened seat belt sign is off. Alrighty, so there's pretty much not much to do from here other than a monitor as we cruise. So um, we're going to skip a little bit and I'll come back to you just as we start our top of uh, descent. So we're skipped a little bit along, so the flight has been very uneventful, so we're going to get into the action, so we're about to um, start our descent, so um, we'll put our PA announcements on, just going to adjust the volume because I had it turned down while I was cruising, and we're going to lower the speed and we'll start descending. Uh, the flight was uneventful, but was um, quite turbulent, it's pretty much quite a rough all the way through uh, the flight which is you know sometimes that can be cool cool for the pilot not great for passengers and our speed is starting to drop and we're just about to hit our top of descent which we've already actually know we're descending so I'll quickly f go through the FMC so you can so see what I'm doing for our uh, approach so we're going to be doing an ILS uh, Landing. Pretty simple stuff, really. I'm looking very much uh, to the approach. So this is the first time that I've flown into Atlanta and X-Plane. I've done it quite a few times in prepare and first time I'm actually uh, using uh, this scenery. So it should uh, be pretty cool. But um, I'm going to skip along a little bit, probably to just before 10,000 feet when things will start really get interesting. And um, please join me for the approach in and landing to Atlanta. So we've just passed through our 10,000 feet, uh, nearly at 9,000. So again, unfortunately, I don't have any ortho um, for Atlanta. So I do apologize uh, for that. Um, just working on it. I've got to hook up a hard drive uh, so I can fit some more ortho on it. Um, so looking forward to do that in the future. Um, but the time you watch this video, um, you probably would have seen a um, Ausflight Simmer um, announcement video that I'll, I'll do a couple of hours before you see this flight. So that'll go through some of the updates. But um, I just wanted to mention of the Ausflight Simmer channel uh, Discord. So if you want to be able to say hello or come interact with me during the week, I think it's probably a better format than what I've been using before, uh, previously which is um, Facebook for that sort of thing so Facebook's really um, good for pretty much announcements of um, the videos that I make so um, Discord's more of a you know you can have a chat with me um, if you would like so um, that is up and running there's not too much content in the Discord but that's only because it's pretty much brand new so go for a little bit of a wing shot and see ortho makes a massive difference between the um, default there as we see there it's pretty plain but then again I, I think the um, default textures are a lot 
higher quality than what you'd find the default textures in prepared um, very much so really haven't had to use the air brakes much um, for the descent into Atlanta. I think only pretty much once, which is just before. So it's pretty cool. I find that the 757 um, pulls up quite quickly uh, with air brakes. Um, different than some of the other aircraft that you fly, like the 737 is quite a slippy aircraft, but. Um, still got the lights on so I better turn those off making a left-hand turn to one of our last um, wave points in um, I'm meant to go for a little bit of cloud cover says the um, the weather report before some hay so I'm expecting that to um, pop up quite shortly as we make our approach in uh, using default um, clouds and weather. I do have X Enviro, but um, the only thing that really stops me from using it is that it's not VR compatible, so um, I like to make sure that most of my products are VR compatible, that way I don't need to switch and turn things on, so, um, so I'm not using it, but really excited to um, hear that Hi-Fi will hopefully have a X-Plane, um, or is it Hi-Fi? It might be Hi-Fi, it might be both, Hi-Fi and Rex. Uh, looking to perhaps have some um, X-Plane products towards the oh, end of 2018 so that would be a really exciting so we're just going to pop the drag out here so we can get below uh, 200 and that way we can get our first notch of flaps out flaps one um, because we've got one more turn and we should be lined up the runway to capture the um, ILS See the glide slope starting to appear. And now as we zoom in, a bit of a glimpse of Atlanta. So we'll be hitting panic stations and adrenaline stations as we... Um, line up and pretty much down to just under 200 and there we go we go through the haze a little bit of a cloud layer so hopefully this won't last too long so we get a nice approach and we can see the um, airport all the way in I don't think it will last too long so the first notch of flaps are in We're just going Flaps five. Going to take control of the um, the speed of the aircraft, I think. We're very close to our approach in. Drop the speed down a little bit more. And we're going to make our turn into Atlanta. That haze is starting to sort of dissipate a little bit. Got down to 180. Um, airport should come in sight. Just 
really. Might have to zoom in to see the pappy lights, I think. Just barely. Glide slope is coming into play. So once we get to it's Jetta. Well, next waypoint will uh, catch up the ILS anyway. I'll have to take a look because um, the last flight and this flight I haven't been able to use my auto brake for some reason, and I don't think I've changed the configuration of how I prepare the aircraft for, for landing at all. So I don't know what I've done but anyways um, I will figure that out so we're dropping down to 160 fly we've got flaps 10 now pretty much gonna get lined up so we'll hit our approach button there we go And we're going to have to drop the gear down. Probably should have the gear down already. Uh, but we'll do that in a, a quick second. The gear's going down. So please make sure, um, it's obviously completely up to you, but go nuts in the comments on this video and um, let me know what you want to see with these full flight videos. Do you want me to add some music? Um, the editing is going to be pretty raw. I'm not going to cut out when I'm switching to camera scenes and things like that. You're going to see all that. Um, let me know um, what you want me to talk about, what you want to see, and really tailor and made to what you guys want to be able to um, see from these videos. Like I'm, I'm pretty excited to do all different flights and viewer request flights and different aircrafts with different simulators and keep it raw and take you guys along. Um, you know that's pretty cool that means I'll get more time to do some more flying um, but I want to make it enjoyable so this one was pretty raw I left it as a, a blank mile. canvas and kept a lot of things in there like mistakes and switching the camera shots and no music so to, for you guys to let me know what you want to see um, but within saying that we're getting ready to uh, land um, I've turned off the autopilot the wrong way and uh, please enjoy and I'll come back to you um, just as we uh, have wheels down. Pretty smooth uh, landing, uh, but a bit of float up, but that's alright. Passengers had a, uh, excuse me while I move my navigraph away, passengers had a decent uh, landing, but uh, we'll check out the, um, the replay and I'll come back to you as we're taxiing to our gate.
so we're just going to clean the um, aircraft up. Um, in real life, actually, funny enough, I've flown um, into this airport, and um, every scenery um, that I've come across does a really good rendition um, of the airport. And uh, being a Delta sort of home airport, yes, it was Delta aircraft absolutely everywhere. I really enjoyed the approach. It was probably about three or four years ago, but it was a pretty cool flight in, so I enjoyed it Ladies uh, and gentlemen, immensely. We welcome you at our destination. The local weather is very nice. 23 degrees centigrade. The local time is 6.40 a.m. For your safety and comfort, we ask that you please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened until the captain turns off the fastened seatbelt sign. This will indicate that we have parked at the gate and that it is safe to move about. Please check around your seat for any personal belongings you may have brought on board with you, and please use caution when opening the overhead bins, as heavy articles may have shifted around during the flight. If you require departing assistance, please remain in your seat until all other passengers have departed. One of our crew members will then be pleased to assist you. We remind you to wait until inside the terminal to use any electronic devices, or to smoke in the designated areas. So I'm looking to park at gate A20, but I've got a funny feeling on the right hand side here that someone's going to be parked in my spot. Um, so we might need to um, flip across the other side. That's okay. Um, I'm sure the airport officials will get quite cranky, but um, so be it. That's what happens when you put someone else in my spot. So just going past another fellow as that um, just spawned in. Some 757s there on the right hand side. Um, and I think. Yeah. Oh. I'm not sure what's going on there, but um, we'll find a spot just over here. But, um, thank you very much for parking in my spot. Appreciate it. And then we'll um, start turning the aircraft off and uh, we'll release the uh, passengers. Actually, this looks like a, um, a gate for quite a lot large aircraft, but, you know, you do what you got to do. That looks pretty good to me for a parking spot, so we're just going to quickly um, turn the APG, APU Gen on, because I got that ready before um, when we were taxiing. I'll turn one of the blades off. We'll turn uh, the engines off. Engine 1 is off, engine 2 is off. You can see the engine's dropping down now. We'll get rid of that, we don't need it. We'll start to turn some stuff off. Window heats can go off. lights can go off. We'll turn some of these fuel pumps off on the right hand side. We'll turn the engine gens off. And um, time to get the uh, ground stuff all configured. We'll have to use buses because I haven't been able to figure out if anybody knows what I need to do to get the jetways to work in X-Plane. I haven't got there yet so I do apologise. But we'll use uh, buses today. We'll say that the jetway is out of action. Open up some doors. So thank you very much for uh, watching. If you watch the whole video it's very much appreciated. This was uh, video one of the first full flight uh, series and like I mentioned before it's a blank canvas so please um, leave some comments below of how um, you want this improved I'm gonna call this is this is your this is the viewers um, series so you can come fly with me and um, 
let me know how you want these uh, videos done. So thanks very much for watching. I'm Shane. I'm Oz Flight Simmer. Uh, if you like this sort of stuff uh, and you want to stick around, please hit that subscribe button and it'll, um, you'll be able to see more content. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up as we go through the building there. And uh, also you can check out the new Discord channel and Facebook and you can catch up with me and see what I'm up to uh, during the week. But these videos uh, will come out on every Wednesday Australian time um, as a bit of a midweek video. So thanks very much for watching. Um, I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Goodbye.